In this video, we are going to perform face detection using OpenCV and Python. In the first half of this video, I am going to explain how you can use OpenCV to detect faces in videos and images using CPU. And in second half, I will explain how you can get a speed up using CUDA GPU acceleration. Let's get started. I have two empty files here. Detector.py will be used to implement our detector class and in main we will be writing the code to detect faces in images and videos. I have this pre-trained face detection model here. I will share the link to this model in the description. Then I have another folder with some input images and videos which later will be used for face detection demo. Let's start coding our detector first. Import numpy, cv2 and fps module from imutils so that we can compare performances of face detection on CPU and GPU. Next, define init function, which is executed as soon as the class is instantiated. So we will load our model in this function. Then I'm going to define process image function, which will take path to the image as input, read that image and place it in a variable called self.ing, which will be accessible anywhere within the class. We also need height and width of the image, which we will use later. Now the fun part, detecting faces and drawing a bounding box around them. For that, I am defining another function called process frame. We need to convert the input image to a blob that OpenCV underscore DNN module understands. We need to resize the image to 300 cross 300 and subtract these mean values. These parameters are mentioned in the original post of DNN module. We do not need to perform any channel swapping or cropping. Now we provide this blob as input to our model and perform a forward pass. This will give us face predictions and we need to make a bounding box around all of the detected faces. So we need a loop for each detected face. And if the detection confidence is greater than 0 0.5, we plot the bounding box on the original image using red color and giving a thickness value of 2. Now we come back to process image function and we call process frame function which draws bounding box on the image. Next we need to display the final image on screen. The face detection for image is implemented. To use it, import detector in main and create an object. Call the process image method and pass the image path as parameter. There we have it. Let's run it. Okay, we have an error in the model path. Let's fix it. And here are the results. Now let's define a function called process video. It takes video path as parameter and reads the video using CV2 dot video capture. If video is not opened successfully, we print error message and return from the function. Otherwise, we grab a frame from the video and save the height and width of the frame. Also, initialize FPS module to calculate frame per second for face detection on video. Now, if the frame is grabbed successfully, we call process frame function, which draws rectangles around the detected faces. We show the final image on screen and also provide functionality to break the face detection loop if the user chooses to press Q on the keyboard.
Then we update FPS information and try to grab next frame from the video. When all the frames are processed, the FPS information is displayed and all OpenCV windows are destroyed. Now our program is ready for face detection on videos as well. Let's call process video method on the video and there we have it. This was using CPU and we achieved FPS of 30. Now if we have built OpenCV with CUDA support, we can use GPU acceleration as well. Let me show you how to do that. First, we need to introduce this flag called use underscore CUDA. And if this flag is set to true, we need to change backend and target of our model to use CUDA. That's it. Now we can pass this parameter to our class and OpenCV will use GPU acceleration. Now we have achieved 62 FPS, which is double than CPU version. Hit that like button if you have learned something of value today and I will see you in the next one.